we're gonna have an incident that you will not get a fire truck at your house to help you. You're gonna to have to help yourself and you need to be prepared for it. Um, we're gonna to try to help you, but we're gonna run out of resources and they're gonna take a long time for them to come from Sacramento and Southern California. Law enforcement's not gonna have enough officers. You need to understand and prepare your family for the fact of we're gonna be impacted by a terrible event and you are gonna to have to take care of yourself. And, and calling 911 is an option, but there's a good chance nobody's gonna show up to help you just because of the magnitude of the incident. It's this. Let's say a disaster hits the Paradise Ridge. Then, let's assume every CAL FIRE engine and crew rush in to help, along with everyone from the Sheriff's Department. Then, let's add the 20 personnel from the Paradise Police, and a dozen ambulance crews, and every CHP officer in the county. Now, let's call out every fire engine in nearby Chico and Orville, and everyone in the Chico and Orville Police Departments. Being generous, that's a thousand people. On the day of the campfire, over 52,000 people lived on the Paradise Ridge. Even with every single first responder in the county working at the top of their proficiency, there are tens of thousands who will need to self-evacuate without the aid of anyone. This is not because government cuts corners on disaster preparedness. It's not because first responders are not willing to risk their lives to save the day. It's because there are far more people than any town, city, or county can handle. It takes every citizen out there to recognize the risk that they live in to be prepared to the degree that they can for that risk. 